All right, so right now we are in one of the supply cabinets inside my classroom. And right now we are looking at all of our aerosol cans. Um, so we're gonna talk about the safety regarding aerosol cans. Um, so we can use several different types of aerosols in here. Um, the very first one is going to be our Design Master Color Tool Spray. Um, so we can use these to change the color of flowers. Um, so for example, um, in floral, it's very difficult to find a true blue flower. Um, a lot of times they're more of like a lavender blue or something like that. Um, so we can use our Design Master sprays to um, color or essentially spray paint um, the flower to make it a specific color. Um, this is great for bridal work. This is great for um, like flowers to wear. So corsages and boutonnieres um, th and things like that. So this is the first type that we can use. Um, we also use a lot of glue adhesive. Um, so these are spray glues. Um, we also go through, we use a lot of glitter sprays, especially when it comes to like homecoming, um, prom and things like that we do use a lot of the glitter sprays. So some things to know about aerosol cans. Um, when we are using them, we always need to use them outside. Um, so the fumes from these aerosols is not good for our lungs. It's not good for our systems. So we always need to make sure that we are using them outside. When we are using them outside, you need to look at what you are spraying um, on. Okay, so if you are spraying right on, on our window or you're spraying right on the concrete, okay, that is damage, it is considered vandalism. Um, so you need to be taking that into consideration. So always make sure that you're looking at what you're spraying behind. Um, any damage that you do, so if you go out here and you hold up a, a stem and you go to spray it right on our building, um, and you damage our building, you vandalize our building, you are responsible for that. Um, so you need to make sure that I try to remind you guys when we do spray. Um, and I give you guys, we have kind of a planter outside that I try and put you guys around um, so that you're not uh, right up against the building um, or you're not on the concrete and things like that. Um, so make sure that you're always spraying outside. Um, do not spray towards yourself. Do not uh, spray towards anyone else. Um, these, especially the Design Master, um, it can stain. Um, so it can stain clothing. Uh, so you wanna make sure, not to mention, um, getting it in our eyes and things like that is not good for us. So we wanna make sure that we're not pointing this directly at anyone. Um, we need to keep these away from heat sources. So this is why they're in the farthest corner of my classroom. They're away from our windows. Um, they're away from um, where we may use glue guns or anything like that. Um, so they're always stored in this cabinet farthest area in the classroom um, so that they're away from any heat sources. Um, when we go to use these, um, so if you are using a Design Master or if you are using a glitter spray, you always need to make sure to shake the can before that you use it. Um, so there's a little metal ball in here that kind of rotates around and kind of stirs um, our spray. Um, so that it kind of um, creates a more consistent spray. Um, one thing to note, if you are using the spray adhesive, so our spray glues, make sure not to, to shake these. You do not want to do that, okay? Um, make sure that we're not puncturing um, these, so we're not stabbing these with scissors. Um, we're not doing anything like that. Um, Make sure, uh, do not throw these cans away. Um, return them to me. I recycle these. Um, so do not go and try and put these into the trash can. Don't do that. Um, do not inhale the fumes. So the fumes of these, um, it's not good for us. Um, so do not inhale. If you, I, I do catch you trying to inhale the fumes on these, um, that will be considered a behavior issue and it will, will be handled as such. Um, and it may result in you having to leave the class because it is a major safety issue. Um, so you need to make sure that you are spraying outside that we're not inhaling these fumes because they're really not bad for us. Um, when you go to do these, make sure that your hair um, is tied back. Um, I will also give you guys a pair of gloves. Um, so I will give you a pair of these gloves. Um, because you have to hold the flower, 
when you go to spray. Um, it's very easy to over spray onto your skin. And so um, I've walked around as like a blue smurf for like three days because I didn't put gloves on during homecoming for Madera North. So you want to make sure that you wear gloves, uh, make sure that like your clothing, you're not accidentally spraying your clothing or anything like that because it does stain. Um, so keep all of that away from it. When you go to use these um, on here, there's going to be a little dot. Um, so you guys can aim your um, sprayer towards the actual dot on um, the can. And so by doing that, um, it allows the, the sprayer to release all like a full spray. Um, and we wanna do this in light layers. As we rotate the flower, um, we wanna do this in light layers. We need to let it dry. Um, so we'll go through, we'll spray, we'll let the flower sit for, for a few seconds, let it dry. Um, and then we can go through and do another coat. Um, and so you can do multiple coats. You do not wanna go through and spray the whole flower where it's wet. Um, the, the, um, the design master, the spray will not um, stay really well if it's too wet. Um, it'll drip and it won't look good. So you wanna make sure that when we're using this, um, we're going through and we're doing this in layers. Um, so you'll spray it let it sit, let it dry, spray it again, let it sit, let it dry, spray, so on and so forth. And for some flowers, um, especially things like hydrangeas and things, we may have to do like four or five coats um, to get the actual color that we're needing. And when we go to use these, make sure that your the tip of this um, is not gummed up. So you guys can go through and kind of clean these up um, and unclog the, the sprayer. Um, so that's kind of the safety regarding our aerosol cans.